ahead, one of the things that you had come on to discuss was advocating for trauma intervention um, via art. Uh, can you explain that? Um, yeah, I can. I think that, like, collectively in society, there are a number of issues that kind of get in the way of people receiving trauma intervention. Or, um, honestly, there are, like, a number of issues that get in the way of people even know having the opportunity to not be traumatized from the jump um and honestly it's a lot of people really not understanding each other's points of view and i know for me as a filmmaker it took me a long time to get to this but as someone who who gets to write and gets to act and gets to literally constantly empathize with other people's points of view and then put that on the screen so that other people can see those points of view um like i think that there's just something that I found with art. It had, there's like a certain through line where it's like for some people, for some, for some reason, everyone seems to connect to art in some way. And it seems to create this sort of like dissonance that allows people to see one another's points of view and see one another's perspectives in a way that for some reason, like interpersonal interaction just doesn't. There's so much offense that comes with interpersonal interaction. There's so much defensiveness but when it's not you having the conversation directly with someone else when it's you watching the conversation on the screen when it's you seeing it in an art piece and you know